Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're talking binomial distribution and broccoli and today we're using Minitab Express or Minitab for Mac to find those probabilities. So according to a national survey, 27% of Americans hate broccoli and this qualifies as a binomial distribution because we either hate broccoli which gives us a P equal to 0.27 which is our probability of success or Q of 0.73 Remember, P plus Q equal 1. So I have a sample or a number of trials of 40. And what I want to know is out of these 40, what's the probability that exactly 8 of them hate broccoli? So we're solving for the probability that X is equal to 8. So here in Minitab Express, we want to select this CDF, PDF, which is your um, cumulative and inverse functions. And when we come down, we want the probability density function. Remember when we select probability density function, it's because we're solving for a single value of x. So we'll select probability density function, and our input is a single value, and the value we wanted, remember, was p was x was equal to 8, and now we select our distribution, and we want binomial. I'm going to ask for our number of trials that was 50. Our event probability was 0.27, which was um, the probability that people hated broccoli. And then I'm going to hit OK. So it gives us a summary, shows us that we use the binomial distribution, number of trials, event probability, our input value was 8. And so down here it tells us the probability that x is equal to 8.0275. So what we're going to end up with is probability that out of the 50 people exactly 8 hate broccoli is roughly 2.76 percent. Now Minitab Express does something really cool. So let's say that the next question you had said what's the probability of x equaling exactly 10? See this make similar button? Hit this here is your input, right? single value, and now I'm going to say I want to solve for 10. Binomial is still there. Your number of trials is still there. Your event probability is still there. I'm going to hit OK, and now it's given me the probability of x equaling 10. So as long as you're solving for this single value of x and using this probability density function, I can simply hit make similar. I could now say the probability of exactly 15 and I'd say OK. Now my probability is about 10.9 percent. Remember, you use the probability density function up here at the CDF PDF. This probability density function when you are solving for a specified value, when you're looking for the probability that x is equal to a single value. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.